What was your general, you know, takeaway from that game though with the with the Commanders and the and the Browns? Yeah, so they, there was a few players that kind of stood out for me from from our grading standpoints, right? And and on offense, I could kind of go through a few of the ones specifically that that stood out at least to me. Um, the first one being uh, quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson, a fifth round rookie out of uh, UCLA, I believe it is. Um, but he's all, he's been having an awesome preseason already. We saw it in the Hall of Fame game. He was one of the top five graded offensive players for the Browns in that game, and then he kept the momentum going this past weekend. Um, with the second highest offensive grade on the team with an 88.6, just being super efficient with his passes, going nine for 12, 102 yards and a touchdown, and hasn't thrown any turnover worthy plays so far this preseason. Showed off ability as a runner as well, picked up a third down with his legs. So really interesting player there that could potentially push for a backup quarterback spot on a team and and, and act as Deshaun Watson um, if Deshaun Watson isn't in the lineup. And then um, a couple really interesting players that I thought uh, also stood out. Elijah Moore, new with the team this year, um, didn't play a ton, but with no Cooper or Chubb, he, he was kind of the clear focal point of the offense early on. And again, super small sample, no Chubb at Ford in the game, but the backfield touches uh, from uh, Elijah Moore were nice to see, a way, nice way to get him more involved in the offense and utilize his skill set, manufacture some touches for him because we know he's a talented player. Um, he just needs that that kind kind of opportunity yeah and um, um and then the sorry go ahead no it, so he got banged up the rib rib contusion day to day and, and then the other one that you were going to talk about is dewan jones yeah, Dewan Jones, the the rookie tackle. I, I know the Browns' offensive tackle spots are secure with 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 Jack Conklin and Jedrick Wills, but thought it was worth pointing out that this is a fourth round rookie out of Ohio State. Um, he's performed really well so far this preseason. I know he's going up against backups for the most part, but through two games has earned an 81.8 pass blocking gr grade, allowing just one single pressure on 79 pass blocks through two games. So really nice to see there. You can never have enough depth at the tackle position because losing one of those starters like Jack Conklin and Jedrick Wills, as you guys know, can be pretty devastating to the offensive line. So nice to see that there could be a capable backup there in Dewan Jones. So if we flip to the uh, the defensive side of the ball, uh, there's a couple guys that I know you, you thought played pretty well. Um, Maurice Hurst, that's a guy that if he's healthy, He's been a productive NFL defensive tackle. Take us through what you saw from him. Yeah, he's always been an interesting talent on the interior of the defensive line, right? And he's kind of bounced around the league a little bit because of injury stuff and inefficiencies. But he's gone from Las Vegas to San Francisco now here in Cleveland. And I think there's talent here that that can help him be a contributor for this Browns defensive line. Um, this past weekend, we saw him earn an 81.6 defensive grade. He posted three total pressures and a sack on just 16 pass rush attempts. Personally, I'm a big fan of what the Browns have done to improve their defensive line this year. And I know, you know, interior defensive line wasn't as good as it could have been last year, but upgrades like a Dalvin Tomlinson, Shelby Harris, Maurice Hurst, I think are stronger additions uh, than what they're getting credit for. Yeah, and, and the next guy we're going to talk about is probably happier than anybody with the, the upgrades. Jeremiah Usu koromoa you know, when you, when you have the quickness and the speed he does, it shows when you don't have a tackle flying back at you. Yeah, that definitely helps. And and look, we, we haven't seen um, Owusu Koromo fully take over a full-time role yet in his NFL career. It felt like he might get a chance last year, but then was kind of in and out of the lineup with interest with injuries. But he, he's a really interesting player for, for, for me as someone who fits the modern NFL linebacker mold. It could fly around the field, like you said, making plays. You could line him up anywhere, be solid in run defense, and then not be a liability in coverage. He's consistently shown flashes of that whenever he's been on the field, and this past weekend earned an 81.3 defensive grade, um, made a really nice play to snuff out a screen pass for a tackle for loss. 
And I think, you know, there's obviously injuries to Jacob Phillips. You hate to see, but also guys like Anthony Walker and Sione Takitaki still not a hundred percent yet, I believe. So there could be some more opportunity this year in Schwartz's defense, um, which is typically rotated linebackers off the field less than what the Browns did in 2022. So we could be seeing more JOK this year. Other defensive guy um, that you were talking about is Darius Smith. What, do you, what have you seen from him and, and how good can that duo of Garrett and Smith be, do you think? Yeah, the, I mean, speaking of additions to the defensive line, right, and, and one that just isn't getting enough credit, again, to what they deserve. Smith was one of the best pass rushers in the league last season. He earned an 84.7 pass rush grade, which was ninth among all edge defenders. He posted 78 total pressure, pressures, which was fourth among edge defenders, and was just really solid in run defense as well. You know, Clowney, he was solid last season, but I don't know that Miles Garrett will have ever had a, a running mate on the edge opposite him as good as Smith. So this could be kind of a huge revelation for the Browns pass, pass rush this season if he can keep it going. And I think it's only going to be a good thing for, for Miles Garrett as well. 